Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video on Jump Force. My name is Vincent SG, and in today's video, I want to know, why do you hate or love this game? For me, I started out really, really digging Jump Force. I hadn't talked to anyone for like two or three days straight when the game first dropped, and I was doing story missions, trying to unlock how to add the elements to my attacks, and just overall really enjoying the game. Now sure, I saw that it had some obvious flaws, like for me, seeing Frieza with teeth for some reason looked really weird, and like some of the character models looked strange and like not at all what I expected to see on such a highly anticipated PS4 title. Now there were a few other minor details like characters that were included, cough cough Kaya, yeah, and some that were not, but overall nothing that I encountered made the game seem like it was like bad for me because I'm just the type of guy who accepts things, some things, exactly as they are, especially the things that I really have no control over. But then I went online and that, my friends, is when everything changed. Okay, now truth to be told, my first few matches online against the world were not that bad. I used my character levels, and because I had grinded to such a high level, higher than most, I was pretty much dealing extra damage and taking less, so it was fine, you know? I tried my best to learn how to master high speed dodges, and this is where my first real complaint about the game comes in. While I had a pretty good grasp of how to do it, I even like made a tutorial video about a topic that had some viewership success. I felt like even if you were a pro at the mechanics of it, the game just wouldn't let you do it whenever you wanted to. Maybe it was because I sucked actually, I don't know, but a lot of the times I would go for the high speed dodge and just literally just get hit. Which brings me to my biggest complaint about the game, but I will save that for right now and tell you something that I really, really love about Jump Force, and I wonder if this is something that you agree with. Now, the thing that I love the most about Jump Force, that I still love the most about Jump Force, is the massive variety of characters that you get to choose from. Like, Trunks is probably my second favorite character uh, from Dragon Ball Z, and while they had two or three versions of Trunks from DBZ and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I felt like those versions sucked and I was unhappy with them. So they didn't like scratch my trunks itch, if you know what I mean. Um, so in Jump Force though, the version of trunks they gave us, it actually made me pretty happy. Like from the way that the character looks to how his attacks are, I instantly chose him for everything I did whenever I could because I wanted to master him. I made a couple of videos on him and his combos that I came up with all on my own. And when I felt so good about my ability to use trunks and his combos, I went online with him and no cap this time, that is when everything about the game changed for me. Let's call it about a week into the game, maybe less, and that's when all the tryhards had to figure out how to use the best everything with the best everything, right? Normally now, I like going into ranked because I learned from the Ninja Storm series that choosing ranked matches puts you up against people that are around your skill level, right? This couldn't have been further from the truth with this freaking game. I got destroyed like over and over and it wasn't because I wasn't hitting my dodges most of the time or not landing my combos because I was I was doing everything I trained for correctly but the other people were just well I, I don't want to say good I'll just say this they were never ending and if you know anything about jump forts you know exactly what I mean when I say never ending now, the first time I got hit with an actual combo that took my entire life bar, I was instantly took to a place of, this game is trash, bro. I couldn't even hit this guy. It, it was to the point where I finally just uninstalled the game because I was used to a game like Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, where even if you are losing, you could change the tide of battle by baiting out an attack and sidestepping. The sidestepping in this game, while it still beats Ninja Storm 4 sidestepping, it's nowhere near Xenoverse 2 level sidestepping, and I just get molly wop whenever trying to sidestep someone who knows what they are doing. Escaping from combos, you say? <laughs> Escaping from combos might as well not even exist if they give people a chance to directly cancel it by chasing you. 
I mean, this is all very well and good for the people who know how to do these things, but for the casual person or the guy who considers himself more than a casual but not quite an all-day sweat at the game, it's just a bit too much, and I just left the game alone, you know? Um, now, the only thing that brought me back to Jump Force, honestly, was Madara. Because, once again, this game gives me what I want in terms of variety, with a capital V. I have never been able to be Yu-Gi-Oh! in a game, and certainly never fighting alongside Sasuke or Kenshin. Alright, now, hear me out. I'm an anime fan. Not the biggest or the most weep, but I like anime. And because of that, I must like this game. Now, as a gamer, yeah, sure, I see the game for what it is. It was never going to be an eSport or anything like that, so I brought my expectations for this game down. But playing this game with a friend or two or three who are around the same skill level as you, where sometimes you win, sometimes they win, this game can be fun. I mean, it is fun, but not something I would spend like hours upon hours on, and surely not something I would ever, ever feel comfortable going into ranked again to take something like take to, to, blah, 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 to take the game somewhat seriously. Excuse me. All right, now some character teams in this game are literally just cheat codes, and the people who use them, they know this, and this is what bothers me. They know that their team's a cheat code, and it doesn't bother them. They only want the W. And they don't, like, have the magic wonderment that I get whenever I see Ichigo versus Sasuke and think, who really would win? Or how awesome it would be if Madara just decided to Rene Sharingan control Vegeta somehow and they were on the same side and went on a rampage. I mean, I don't know. I think about these things. And in no other game do those thoughts get some form of an outlet. You know what I mean? Well, uh, that's going to be it for me for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. I would certainly appreciate it. And so will the almighty YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much again. And I will see you next time. Oh, yeah. And as a PS, um, I'm so glad they added a rematch button because not having it really, really did suck. Thanks, Dumb Force. I'm the flyest nigga in the world.